My name is Andrew Semaganda, and today I want to share with you the Microsoft Access Development Environment. But before we begin, I want to do a quick recap on the benefits of using Microsoft Access. And these are automation of repetitive tasks, saving time, manage large amount of information effortlessly, find key information in seconds, not hours, extract variable information and trends from the mass of meaningless data, ability to import and export from and to other sources and formats, and so on and so forth. I also want to do a quick recap on the possible application of Microsoft Access areas where you can develop Microsoft Access applications. These are accounts receivable, sales order entry, inventory management, payroll, fixed assets and depreciation, reconciliations, managing advances, suppliers databases, customer databases, the list is endless. I also shared with you in the previous video some of the interfaces showing the applications I've previously worked on and these are fixed assets for keeping assets of a company or for an organization. Asset management, human resource application, inventory management if you have a store and you want to keep inventory, savings and credit system, if you have members who are borrowing and uh, saving in an, in an organization, payroll system to manage uh, salaries, property tracking system to manage properties, reconciliation system, you can use access in reconciling uh, huge amounts of data, hospital system, and so on and so forth. So let's uh, look at Microsoft Access Development Environment. Go to Start, Access. These are the most recently worked on Microsoft Access databases. You click blank database, you give it a name. I'm going to use a name school database assuming that I'm developing a school database you locate a folder where you want to keep your database I want to keep mine under YouTube folder I created a folder called it YouTube You save it as Microsoft Access 2007 to 2016. Click OK. Click Create. Microsoft Access will open this window. As you can see, this is the Microsoft Access development environment. This is where you do the development of Microsoft Access databases. I'm going to explain some of the objects in a database. And these are tables, queries, forms, reports, and there are others like macros. But in order to explain this very well, let me open a database that have previously worked on. So, as you can see, the tables, I start with tables. When I click tables, these are the tables that I created. I'll be showing you how to create these tables in a while. So when I double click branches, to reopen up a table for branches. As you can see, access looks similar to Excel, but access is a little different from Excel. Access tables, they are different from the Excel tables. 
when I close, it closes. I can open another table. So these are the tables in Access, and they are called objects. Another table. Then another important object in Microsoft Access environment are queries. The queries are very important. They are used to extract specific type of information depending on the criteria you set. For example, this is a query. You can open another query. For example, here it is asking for the date so that I can get receipts for a particular date. All these are queries. Then I move on to forms. For example, you can see this is a form. This is another form. This is another form for searching data. This is, uh, another form. This is the form that you can use to navigate to get to any point of your database application. Uh, I'll be explaining what subforms are, but the forms are very important for entering or editing information. Then we go to the reports. The reports are basically for reporting. For example, if I click variances, of course, to ask for a date, so it will bring up, it will show up uh, a variance report. If I click reorder, it will show me the reorder, assuming that you had a store and you want to know the reorder level, the items that need reordering. So you can develop all sorts of uh, reports. I'll be showing you how to develop these reports in a while. But otherwise, in Access, the key objects are tables, queries, forms, reports. You can develop very good, strong, powerful applications without any coding, but using a drag and a drop method and you'll be able to come up with the applications as I highlighted, indicated them to you in a couple of uh, minutes back. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this is the Microsoft Access Development Environment. When you're at home, it will show you the different objects. If, if I click Create, it will show me options of creating these tables, the queries, the forms, and the reports. If I click on external data, it will show me how to import and export data from different applications. As I explained to you, Access can import and export uh, to other sources like Microsoft Excel. And then if I click on database tools, I'll be explaining what these tools mean. For example, if I click on compact and repair, Microsoft Access will repair your database such that it becomes light. It will remove redundancies. I'll be explaining all these in the coming videos. And the help, basically, if you are looking for some help on something, So as you can see, this is the development environment. If you click on file, again, it gives you an option of compacting and repair, uh, user and uh, permissions, and also an option of setting database password because we have to secure our database. So this is the Microsoft Access environment. So to take you back to the database I created, that was the school database. It is an empty database. You can see there are no tables. 
it will create a default table and uh, it called it table one so you can close this table and you can be able to create your own table from scratch so if i click create table so i can create my own table assuming this uh students so you can have student id here you you you, you select short text first name short text last name here i'll be explaining to you the meaning of all these in a while but i just want to illustrate how you can develop a table here assuming that we want uh, the type to be uh, date and time so this is date of birth and so on and so forth so you can see i can enter the first name say james last name Kana date of birth because I selected the date time format it will pop up with the calendar such that I'm able to just pick the date to ease data entry and so on and so forth so I can enter another line Sarah what i can get date of birth select date of birth like that so you can see this is the table i've developed and it is in microsoft access you can see it has columns and rows columns and rows so you can add as many records as you want you're going to click on save give it a name you are now saving the student table so give it name students and now i want to quickly show you how to create a query so I'm going to create a query based on students table. Click on students table, go to create. I'm going to use query design. Create query design. You can create a query based on a table. My tables will be listed here because I have only one table. I have students table. Click on students. Add. For now, I'm going to add two fields. Student ID, you drag and drop. First name, drag and drop. And then I save my query. Call it student query. Click OK. Close. Close. So when you go to your queries, query, click on it because I selected only two fields. When I was designing a query, it only show up two columns. Close. Then I want to create a quick form. You go to create um, form, but you first select the tables. 
Well, that the form is based on this table, students create the form. It automatically creates for you the form and uh, you save your form, call it students form. Click OK. I can close so that I go back to my forms and check the form I've created. Here's the form. You can see you can navigate through your records with ease. You can even add new records. If I click here, I'm able to add new records. Then I want to quickly create a simple report. Again, I want the report to be based on this table students. Go back to tables, highlight students, go create um, reports. Again, I save. I call these students reports. Sorry, reports. Click OK. I close it. And then when I go to the reports, double click the reports will be there. Okay, close. So I'll be giving you details on how to develop these uh, forms reports in much more detail otherwise thank you very much for visiting my channel i will be sharing more videos please visit once again to get more details on how to develop microsoft access applications thank you bye for now